Hi Bold Bakers! So we all know that butter is the backbone of baking, but did you know how easy it is to make at home? I'm going to show you today. I'm making my butter in a food processor, but you can also use a stand mixer or a hand mixer. When I did a video for how to whip cream, I show you how you can do it using a hand mixer, so you can check that out. Into our food processor, we are going to add our cream. Now, I suggest heavy whipping cream. The more fat, the better, because the more fat, the more butter. So high fat content. So even if you can buy butter, try out this recipe. It's really fun and there's something really satisfying about making your own butter. So just pop on your lid. And then we're going to turn on our machine and it's going to whip up until the fats separate. It'll take around four minutes or so. It's the same on your stand mixer or hand mixer. Do it on a medium setting and just wait. There you go, it's been four minutes. Let me show you what's going on in here. You have all your yellow buttery solids over here. And what you have down here is actually real buttermilk. So we're definitely not gonna waste that. We're gonna save it when we take it out. But for right now, what we want to do is get all of this butter to clump together in one bit. So what I'm gonna do is pop on the lid. I'm gonna turn back on the machine and I'm gonna pour in some ice cold water. Now what this water does is that it helps separate the buttermilk from the butter to get out any liquid that's in there. So all we're gonna do is pour in a few tablespoons. Now this is an important step, so don't leave it out. There you go, all the butter has come together. You can see that even more buttermilk has come out of the butter, so this is spot on. Okay, so that was super easy. Now all we want to do is separate these two. So we're gonna pour it into a bowl lined with a sieve. I love, love, love butter. And coming from Ireland, I know good butter. So as you can see down below, this is our buttermilk. Now afterwards, you can put it into the fridge and use it in any of my recipes that require buttermilk. It's really, really great. Now for the butter, what we want to do is, this is a bit of a messy job, but that's okay. We're gonna pick it up in our hands and we're gonna squeeze out any of that excess buttermilk that's in there. We want to get rid of all of it. Keep on squeezing until you can't see any more buttermilk come out of it. Another way to do this step is actually by using a cheesecloth or you can use a nice tea towel that is clean and not fluffy and put it in that and that will wring out all of the buttermilk. If you're dairy free, with my recipe, unfortunately you won't be able to make butter that way. That's it, our butter is here, our buttermilk is down here. Now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of flavor to our butter. To add extra flavor to my butter, I'm going to sprinkle in some salt. Now at this stage, you can add any flavor that you like. You can make it sweet and add a little bit of sugar and some orange zest, or you can make it savory and add rosemary, any type of herb, whatever you like. I'm just gonna keep it plain. So there are lots of different ways to make butter. This is the best way that I found easiest and also you get great results. Now your butter will live happily in the fridge for eight weeks and your butter milk will last for around two weeks. My butter recipe yields you around 10 ounces of butter, which is a little over two sticks. So I have some homemade bread here. I'm gonna spread a little bit on. It is definitely worth making your own butter. This is absolutely delicious. Have it on toast, put it in all of your baking recipes, whatever you like. I have lots more bowl baking basic recipes just like this one, so make sure you check out my other videos.